hey, this is Shiraz, and before we get started, I just want to let you know that when I clear something for someone, when I cause a shift, I tend to yawn and cough from the energetic shift that happens. I don't know why it happens. It's just how my body works. And if you don't know that, you're going to listen to this video and go, what the hell is wrong with this guy? You might still think that, but now there's more of an explanation. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you hear something that you can absolutely relate to, when I clear it for them, you can get it cleared for you too. Just say yes when they're saying yes, and it works. It's, I have people that watch these videos every morning to get stuff cleared. This can be your new morning habit too. Okay, that's enough for that. Let's get on with the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get a great shift out of it. See you soon. I'm actually, this is my second time here. And um, the first time I asked you a question and I was a bit confused, but somehow you helped me shift as well. And I feel better this time and I felt it helped me with my family. Right now I'm feeling like like my whole body is kind of like shaky and kind of hard to breathe because everything, all the questions everyone was just asking and getting shifts. So I don't have really have a question, but I do want to share and you can guide me on this mm -hmm. in my life. Um so I am just, this is the first year, first three months of me coming out of the mindset of working hard, working, um, only making money when I work for a boss mm -hmm. and um, seeing myself expand to being an entrepreneur, but I don't know what that is like I enjoy certain things and I try certain things like cooking dancing coaching um I'm in a state like in a period right now where I am nurturing myself I am um kind of like sending love and learning to speaking loving language to myself which i have never done and i'm using this period and i'm just having fun <laughs> and i was having fun and then i got this <laughs> mango okay. tea just now and then when i got into this call today i just feel like so many things came up in me which i'm like i didn't think it would so do you have any feedback for me on this? Are you trying not to change too much? Yes. Okay. What would be so horrible about changing so much? I think for my day-to-day -day routine of like sitting outside in the sun to meditate, cooking and going to like volunteering work kind of those little things that I'm in I'd done before too out of like feeling good mm -hmm. but now I'm doing it actually enjoying it and taking my time on it and I'm I feel like I'm scared to step into like the success mindset and making money. Mm -hmm. Because what will happen? Um, I, I don't know. Okay. What will your relationships be like? if you let all these changes happen? The current relationship, I'm holding a grudge against one of the relationship because I don't want that person to see me successful. Why don't you want them to see you successful? Because I don't want to be with them when I'm successful. Why do you have to be with them when you're successful? Because there's a part of me that I grew up with 
it's ingraining me to be loyal. Okay. So that's a story from your childhood. So are you willing to step out of the story that you have to be loyal to people even if you don't like them or want to be around them? Can you ask that question again, but slow down because okay. I don't get it. Are you willing to step out of the story that you have to be loyal to people, even if you don't like them or want to be around them? Ooh. Can you expand on this to help me answer that? Because I don't know. So you don't want this person in your life, is what I'm hearing. And yet you have a story that you have to be loyal to. Yes. But that's just a story. If you don't want them in your life, get them out of your life. There's no loyalty that needs to be there. Oh. Is this person a contribution to your life? Before it was. As, I'm not asking about before. Is this person a contribution to your life? I feel like I spend, I use a lot of my energy to maintain this person in my life. Okay. But is this person a contribution to your life? Mm, maybe. Is it a healthier relationship or a toxic relationship? It's healthy at times and it's unhealthy at times. So it's How, like, in the, is it? Is it half and half or is it half you, and half? So, okay, so that's not actually coming up true. Are you trying to look for the happy points so you can justify the bad points? Yes. So really look at the relationship because you're saying you don't want this person in your life. Is it more healthy or is it more toxic? It's more toxic. So you're trying to justify keeping a toxic relationship in your life. That's not going to do you any favors. It's going to make you, well, it's going to keep you from being successful because you're holding back on your success because you feel you have to be around this person. It's going to physically affect you because you're going to be frustrated as long as you continue to maintain this relationship. So if this person is creating a toxic relationship or toxic environment for you, you can let go of that relationship. It's fine. So are you willing to step out of the story that you have to be loyal to them no matter what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to get this. Relationships are not about being in an investment. Like they were good to me for this many years, so therefore I have to keep them in my life for a certain amount of time, even though the relationship has gone bad. Relationships about are about a constant experience. And if the experience now is awful, you don't have to be in the relationship. You don't have to hold out because it used to be good. If that's not working for you, if they're treating you bad, if you're very uncomfortable whenever you're around them, then you don't need to be around them anymore. Okay? This applies to any relationship in your life. You want to surround yourself with people that they're a contribution to your life and you're a contribution to their life. You feel better when you're around them. You look forward to being around them. Those are the people you want to hang out with. And it doesn't matter if you're related to them or not. Right? Uh, Bob Proctor used to say, well, you know, it's as easy when it's like people that aren't related to you, but a lot of times we think we have to be around family. And my rule for family is visit them less often and spend less time when you're there. <laughs> and just get out. So. I have another question on this. Mm -hmm. When you spoke about the yo-yo where your body um 
is addicted to a certain type of pattern that has yep. been happening for years. Yes. Um, what if my body is craving some that, but my, and then it's, it's like in the day I'm clear minded and I feel I'm in my vibration and I feel okay. Yep. I feel good about it. And then at night it's like, I don't know if it's my, me tricking my emotions or my body going to that addiction of like wanting that negative pattern of coming back in, separating, coming back, separating. It's like if that emotion of adrenaline of like, oh, we come back, back together again. It's like we made yeah. it work, but not really. If you're doing it all every night, then you're addicted to it. You may be spending the day in this positive thing, but if you need your fix at the end of the day, that's still an addiction. So it's a matter of staying positive, not going into that negative space at night over and over and over again until you just don't go. At first, it has to be conscious. You have to control it, control your thoughts, your emotions until it just becomes natural. I see. So practice it. Practice it. Stay in those positive feelings as long as you can every single day until it's just who you are. Now, there's there's never going to be a point where you're constantly positive because that's just being human. So it's not a, a matter of eliminating all negative emotions. It's about becoming addictive to the positive ones. So when you go into the negative ones, the addiction pulls you out quicker. So you spend less time in the negative. Okay. Cool. Thank you. All right. Thanks for playing. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like. And if you had a shift of your own, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, check out the description for energetic magic events that you can attend every single month. Be well, be aware, and be magical.